Almost two thirds of people living with dementia every day are women, with more and more research drawing a link between the disease and menopause. Dr. Helena Popovic is an expert in dementia research. She joins us now with more. Dr. Helena, great to have you here with us. So, Thank you very much. how does dementia affect women differently to men? As you say, more than twice as many women as men are diagnosed with dementia. Interestingly, more than twice as many women as men care for someone with dementia. Mm -hmm. Dementia is the leading cause of death in women in Australia and the UK. So mm. it kills more people than, more women than breast cancer or any other disease. Wow. And also if a woman experiences head trauma, it leads to a greater risk of dementia right. than in men as well. So Helena, today marks World Men Menopause Day and there is this uh, increasing research now and awareness around the link between dementia and menopause. Can you explain that for us? Yes, well menopause, which is the end of a woman's periods, results from a reduction in the hormone estradiol. But estradiol doesn't just control reproductive function, it actually facilitates the use of glucose for energy by the brain. It stimulates the production of growth hormones and antioxidants in the brain and it helps clear toxins from the brain. So if you drop in your est estradiol levels, you're losing glucose's energy, you're losing that clearing toxic function and you're not getting as many growth factors. So that then increases your risk of dementia. Mm. So the, uh, the theme for World Menopause Day this year is cardiovascular disease. What are the links between menopause and, and I guess heart disease? Well, the hormonal changes in menopause also lead to a redistribution of body fat in women to the middle, in and around mm. our organs, increased risk of type 2 diabetes, lower tolerance to eating sugar and refined starches. These three things are a major risk factor for heart disease. So I think it's really important in menopause that women reassess their life and take stock, create a to-don't list, mm. reduce stress, create room for more joy get your blood pressure checked, get your blood sugar levels checked. Everything changes, doesn't it? Bone health is another thing yes. that we're told to really focus on at that stage in life. What are some of your tips around that? Bone and muscle health maintenance is critical because losing muscle and bone doesn't just make us more frail, increase risk of fractures and you know falls and therefore fractures, but we've now found that hand grip strength reflects overall muscle strength and overall muscle strength reflects the strength of your mind. People who have weaker hand grip mm. perform worse in tests is of memory. Is why you've got this little... Yes, it is. Oh, so, th so this is three, the three best exercise hacks to maintain your muscle and your bone and therefore your brain because this communication between muscles and brain just is like there is gut and brain. $6.00. Practice this, you know, 10, 20 times a day each hand. Put your gun. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or even just a little stress, little ball. stress ball right. each hand, 10, 20 wow. times a day. But here's the best thing of all. This was Edith Cowan University in Western Australia. Get the heaviest bicep weight you can lift. One group just lifted it once, lifting up for three seconds. Group two, down for three seconds. Group three, held it stationary for three seconds. Once a day, five days a week, four weeks. The lifting up increased their strength 6%. Wow. Lifting down increased their strength 11.5%. Stationary, 7%. So who hasn't got three seconds a mm. day to increase their muscle mass? OK, you've got to do it twice because you've okay. got two <laughs> So six and, seconds. And just, you know, try and get in as much strength training as you possibly can. Yeah. Such what about HRT, just quickly before you go? I mean, a lot of people use that. To yes. Give, is there a link with that and dementia as well or not? It depends. This is a nuanced answer. If you take it within the first five years of menopause, it may, it's not conclusive, it may reduce your risk. Mm. But if you take it after five to ten years of menopause and you haven't had any, then don't take it because right. it may increase your risk because your brain Same. isn't used to dealing with oestrogen anymore. Right. Mm. And... Some, some top tips just to thrive through menopause. Yeah. Probably the most important thing is friends, friends and more friends. Yeah. Because loneliness is as damaging as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Mm. And having a confidant, feeling a sense of community increases our sense of meaning and purpose and relevance. And that is just so important. Problem shared is a problem heart. Absolutely. And, and <laughs> as you say... Shall I make that up? <laughs> if, if, you have, if you really have symptoms, go to your GP. Yeah. There is so much we can do. HRT is one thing, but there are other medications and other, other ways that we can improve our health. So Perfect. much great advice, Helena. Helena. Thank you so much. And for more information, Thank you can you. check out Helena's book, Can Adventure Prevent Dementia? Love it. When we return, the latest nine news headlines.